Hello all dinosaurs, today we have an exciting video right over here, okay? So basically, I'm gonna show you guys 50 of my latest Camp Cretaceous, Jurassic World and Jurassic Park action figures. So let's get started. Okay, so the first figure that we will be taking a look at is this brand new Primer Attack Sakosuka's Massive Vitus, okay? So let's unbox this, let's take a look at the box right over here, it looks pretty cool. It has a beautiful illustration. So this is basically a repaint of the massive biter or um, Sako Sucres from Season 1 or rather Wave 1. So let me just cut the strings loose. And um, there you go. We have this brand new Primer Attack Sako Sucres out from its box. We're going to do a comparison very soon with this one right over here. So let's take a look. Let's do a comparison. Which one do you guys like more? I prefer the brand new one because this color scheme is really vibrant and colorful. So I'm a huge fan of vibrant um, colors, dinosaurs right over here, which is why I have all these repaints over here. Next figure, have you guys seen my repaint of the Indominus Rex? If you have not, do check it out. So this is basically my Lever 40. It's not exactly Lever 40. It's inspired by Lever 40 Spinosaurus. Okay. Next, I want you guys to actually let me know whether this is actually a um, original T-Rex, Jurassic Park T-Rex. So I've basically purchased this from a thrift store. So, but I'm not too sure whether this is original or not. It looks like it is, but I'm not too sure. So I need the help of you guys. Okay. Next up, I've actually got this Apatosaurus from Nanmu Studio recently. It's a beautiful, really beautiful figure. As you guys can see, it is very, very long. You see, it's extremely long and it looks pretty, pretty good. I, I love it. Next up, let's take a look at my repainted um, Omega 90 Rex right over here. Okay, this is actually one of my latest repaints. It's still working very well. If you check it out, the tongue, I've painted it in dark blue, so it's really cool. Next up is actually my latest repaint. This is my Lever 40 inspired Mosasaurus, okay? I feel this is like one of my best repaints ever. What, what about you guys? Please let me know down below. And I want you guys to actually help me out on which other dinosaur I should be repainting next. All right, let's move on to our box of figures right over here, okay? So I've got this recently as well. This is actually Charlie, okay? Charlie from um, the Amber collection. So it looks very, very nice. Just zoom in on the box. So this is one of my latest figures. Just gonna place this over here. And this is basically a um, generic Velociraptor from Jurassic Park. Next is actually a um, Camp Cretaceous Pteranodon. So this is a very, very cool... I wouldn't call this Rory Ball. This is a Sound Strike, but it works almost the same way as a Rory Ball. So this is a Camp Cretaceous series over here. Another new addition from the Camp Cretaceous series is actually this Sound Strike Triceratops. All right? Looks very nice. I love this silent um, coat of paint on top of its body right over here. So you can see a light shade of cyan versus a dark, darker shade of cyan. So this is a Triceratops, which is known as the three-horned face. Next up, we have the Dilophosaurus right over here, which is the double crested lizard. It has the ability to spit venom and open its frill in the Jurassic Park movie. Of course, it is not exactly true in real life. Next up, we have a Parasaurolophus, and this is actually the Parasaurolophus which you can see in Camp Cretaceous, which has the ability to glow in the dark. So that's really, really nice as well. Parasaurolophus is known as the Near Crested Lizard. Next up, we have the Haunt Lizard, which is um, the Ceratosaurus, and this is also from the Camp Cretaceous set. It came along with two Velociraptors, I think. Yep, one which is Charlie and one is... Um, um, blue, I think. So, Ceratosaurus. This is actually a very nice color scheme. I love it. Next up, we have Baryonyx Grim right over here. Um, this is a sound strike figure. Looks really nice. And Baryonyx is actually known as the Heavy Claw. Do you guys know why? It is because this claw right over here, it has 
it is actually bigger than the rest so this claw right here is actually super heavy compared to the rest next up we have our um, blue yep blue from amber collection um this is exact not exactly a super new um you know addition to my collection but it was like purchased a couple of months back probably about three months back before i actually moved into this new new place next up we have the battle damage um albertosaurus okay which looks super awesome so if you take a look at this this looks like a very light shade of unscient and you can see the um, the battle damage over here the scars across the body looks really cool and this is actually the new or uh, massive biter um, albertosaurus so as you guys can see these two are brand new albertosaurus albertosaurus is actually known as the albert's lizard if i'm not wrong okay is they are both tyrannosaurs i mean it is a tyrannosaur which means it is closely related to a t-rex next up we have um charlie i think um no this is actually delta yeah but i'm not too sure whether they've got the colors right i think they didn't yeah so this is actually delta from the amber collection as you guys can see there's a headgear over here which is supposed to be the camera Next up, we have um, a few other Cam Cretaceous figures right over here. We have a couple of our Velociraptors, I think. And um, this is a Sinoceratops. Sinoceratops is actually known as the Chinese Horned Lizard. It was discovered back in China. Yeah. So this is a Soundstrike figure. It looks really nice. I love it. Okay. So let's move on and take a look at other figures. This is a Scutosaurus. This is not exactly a dinosaur. It is more of a prehistoric animal. I'm not too sure what is the nickname of this um, prehistoric creature right over here. So if you guys know, do let me know down below, okay? Next up, we have a Dilophosaurus, yet another Dilophosaurus, which is the Double Crested Lizard. And this is, um, what is this? Is this, um, this is a Savage Stripe um, Dilophosaurus. It is super cool. So once you bend the tail upwards, the frill will just open up so it looks really nice and we just go like screeching so yeah it's, it's a cool figure next up we have a um what is this um postosuchus yeah postosuchus another prehistoric um animal or should i say prehistoric reptile i think so yep so look it reminds me of a modern day crocodile okay next up we have a sticky moloch which is known as the river sticks daemon it is a herbivore of course and um, this is a Savage Strike figure from Camp Cretaceous. Looks really cute and nice. Okay, let's move on. We have a Jurassic Park action figure right over here, which is Ian Malcolm, Dr. Ian Malcolm. It is supposed to be holding a cup. I think the cup has dropped into this, the bottom of the box, but that's fine. Okay, next up we have Owen. Okay, and Owen looks really cool over here, wearing his um, trademark vest over here okay next let's take a look at um this is actually not a cam cretaceous figure this is actually in an alio ramers which is another tyrannosaur yeah cool right but you know you know i actually hope they actually produced a bigger figure of this that would be really cool you know a figure which is as big as the omega 9 right at the back that would be that would be really awesome gasosaurus this is another new collection. I mean, another new addition to my collection. It definitely looks like a Tyrannosaur, but in fact, it is not related to a Tyrannosaur. Because as you guys can see, it has three fingers as compared to a T-Rex, which only has two fingers. So if you take a look at that, it does only has two fingers. Yeah, so this is a, this is a pretty cool figure, but I think, I'm not too sure what is the name of this figure. I, I need to check it out. It's basically like one of the older T-Rex. And it's very cool, cool sounds. So once you press this button, it's, you'll be able to produce different types of roars. So that's really, really awesome. Okay, let's move on to, um, I've got this from a three store as well. So this is basically like a Dilophosaurus hybrid, but I'm not too sure what um, it is actually mixed up of. Could be uh, from a Stegosaurus, I'm not too sure, cause you can see some spikes across the entire body. So if you guys know, do let me know okay so it basically looked like a 
Dilophosaurus mixed with a Velociraptor. Yeah. Next up, we're going to move into some of the Nan Moon Studios that, that I've purchased recently. And this is a beautiful Ceratosaurus from Nan Moon Studio. Okay. So it comes with a base. It seems like it is running. So Ceratosaurus is actually known as the Horned Lizard, as you guys um, should know. Okay, next up, we have the Indominus Rex right over here. So this is basically known as the Berserker Rex from Nanmu Studio. So you guys can see there are portion of it which looks like it is actually translucent. So this is basically to simulate that it is camouflaging, okay? So it has camouflaging ability. So if you put this like behind a forest, you can see some, you know, some leaves you know, right behind um, the feet. All right, so this is the Indominus Rex from Yanmu Studio. I love it a lot. Okay, and here is another Velociraptor. I think this is Camputaceous or Delta. I'm not too sure, I can't remember. Or is this Echo? This should be Echo. If I'm wrong, please correct me down below, okay, guys? All right, let's move on to our next figure. We have more Velociraptors right over here, and this seems to be a brand new figure. I mean, this is. This is the recent addition to my collection as well, okay? Let's move on. We have more Nanmu figures right behind, okay? And this is an Ankylosaurus, which looks so amazing, but you know, the spikes are really sharp. You can act actually cut yourself. It's super sharp, as you guys can see. It's really, really sharp. It's like razor sharp. So it's definitely not safe for kids. Ankylosaurus is known as the fused lizard because because the bones inside the body that are actually fused together, okay, to form a very, very tough armor. I should make a video, you know, speaking about the different um, nicknames of dinosaurs, okay? Next up, we have a Giganotosaurus, and this is from W Dragon. This is not the best looking figure, you know, you can find out there, but this is really cool. Um, in fact, the left eye is actually blind. As you guys can see, there are some um, claw marks across the eye all right and it's causing this eye to be blind if you compare it with the other eye right over here it is actually I mean, bright green so this is a healthy eye versus a um, eye which is damaged so giganotosaurus is known as the giant southern lizard okay this is actually a dinosaur which is much larger than a t-rex and in jurassic world Dom Dominion, you, you'll be able to find this new dinosaur. I'm super excited, okay? Next up, um, we have Dennis Nedry, okay? Um, he's one of the characters from Jurassic Park. As you guys can see, the face is actually being spat by a Dilophosaurus Venom. Yeah, <laughs> it's super cute. Oops, and here is the cup for Dr. Ian Malcolm, okay? He's supposed to hold it in his hand. Next up, we have a couple of um, Velociraptors from um, Nanmu. So this is blue. You know, obviously it is blue because of the blue stripe across the body. We have um, other figures as well. So this one is supposed to be Charlie, I'm not too sure, but it's blue in color, so the colors are definitely wrong. Okay. And um, this is Charlie for sure because of the colors. And um, yeah, I think so. And the other one is supposed to be like Delta and Echo, but one of the them are actually wrong. So this should be Delta. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys my top three most favorite figures from this video. Okay, I'm gonna choose all my repaints. Okay, one of them is definitely the Mosasaurus. I, I love this a lot. And the other one is actually um, the, the Omega-9 T-Rex. I'm not going to choose the Indominus Rex because otherwise they will all be repaints. So the next figure which I'm going to choose will be this brand new um, Primer Attack Massive Vital Saku Sukers. Yeah. So those are my top three most favorite figures in this video. And what about you guys? Please let me know down below. And I will, yeah, that's it. So hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a like, you know, share, subscribe. And um. Subscribe if you haven't do so and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.